Hey there, folks! Welcome back to our channel I News You. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we've got a special update on what's going on with health this winter in the United States. It's not just the usual suspects, flu and COVID-19. Stick around because we've got some interesting insights coming your way. Winter is here, and so is the season of sniffles, cough, and sore throats. I'm sure many of you have noticed your family, friends, and even pets feeling under the weather. Let's dive into what's causing this health wave. So, what's on the menu this winter? Well, it's a toss-up between the usual suspects, COVID-19, influenza, and a newcomer, respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. Dr. Steve Furr from the American Academy of Family Physicians says it's like a mixed bag this year. Now, health officials are concerned about rising infections leading to more hospitalizations. The CDC issued a warning about low vaccination rates against influenza, COVID-19, and RSV. Getting vaccinated is your best defense against severe illness, and don't worry if you haven't gotten the jab yet, it's not too late. Let's talk COVID-19. The latest variant, JN.1, is making waves, accounting for a significant portion of cases. But here's the good news, evidence suggests that vaccines and antiviral medications are effective against it. So, while it might spread easier, it doesn't seem to cause more severe illness. Influenza is flexing its muscles this winter, especially in the southern states. Positive lab tests are up, and it's becoming a challenge to distinguish between flu and COVID symptoms. Vaccination fatigue seems to be a culprit with fewer Americans getting their flu shots this year. RSV, a common respiratory virus, is causing concern, especially in babies and older adults. Hospitalizations are on the rise, and though there are shots available, the uptake hasn't been as good as health experts would like. Besides the big players, there are other contenders in the ring, the common cold and strep throat. Strep throat is more common in winter, especially among children. It's on the rise, and a simple swab test can determine if it's the culprit. And of course, the common cold is making its usual appearance. While not as serious as some of the other players, cold symptoms can linger, so it's essential to take care of yourself. Now, let's delve a bit deeper into RSV, respiratory syncytial virus. It's a common infection, usually experienced by most children by age two. The symptoms, like runny nose, coughing, and sneezing, can be similar to a cold. However, health experts say it's crucial to watch out for more severe signs, especially in babies and older adults. Recent data from Truveda, a healthcare and data analytics company, reveals a concerning trend. Hospitalizations due to RSV are on the rise, with babies aged 0 to 6 months making up nearly 25% of admissions in November. It's a stark reminder of the vulnerability of our youngest population to RSV-related complications. While there's been a push for RSV vaccinations, the numbers aren't quite where health experts would like them to be. As of December 9th, only 17% of adults 60 and older have received the new shots against RSV, and about 7% of eligible pregnant individuals have opted for it. The challenge, it seems, is navigating through the multitude of available vaccines. Shifting gears, let's talk about strep throat. 
Group A streptococcus infections are more common in winter, especially among children. Epic Research, analyzing electronic health records, reports a steady rise in doctors and emergency department visits for strep throat since August. Dr. Phil Huang from the Dallas County Health Department notes an interesting correlation. Strep activity seems to coincide with increases in respiratory viruses, particularly in schools. This emphasizes the importance of keeping an eye on symptoms and taking swift action, especially in educational settings. Unlike respiratory viruses, strep throat is caused by bacteria. A simple swab test can provide definitive results, and if positive, antibiotics are prescribed. Antibiotics not only alleviate symptoms but also prevent the spread of bacteria to others and avoid potential complications. And there you have it, our comprehensive look at what's happening on the health front this winter in the U.S. It's a medley of viruses, from the familiar flu and COVID-19 to the rising stars like RSV and strep throat. Remember, staying informed, getting vaccinated, and taking necessary precautions are your best allies in staying healthy. If you've stuck with us this far, give us a big thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more insightful updates. Take care, be well, and until next time, this is iNewsU, signing off.